I'd like to talk about viruses today, and in particular, Lyme's disease. I think people have learned enough about knowing now that when your body naturally tenses and resists and when you stretch, that you get an increase in flexibility. That's natural stretching. I call it resistance flexibility. And when you do that, you don't just get an increase in flexibility of the muscle, but its capacity to shorten, its rate of shortening, and the rate of the rate or the acceleration. But you also get a concomitant upgrade, potentially, in the health of different organs of your body. So when you stretch muscle groups on the outside of your lower leg, that affects the health of your gallbladder in traditional Chinese medicine theory. And I found that to be true myself. So when you're dealing with viruses, which muscle groups and which part of you actually deals with viruses? Well, there's two immune systems. You have an external immune system and you have an internal immune system. Your external immune system is what protects you from things getting in. That's your skin. And it's associated inside with your lymph flow of your body. Your internal immune system is associated with your thymus, your tonsils, and half the function of your spleen. And that's associated internally with your lymph nodes, the largest number being in your gut. That's why they say health is in your belly. So your internal immune system is the part that actually deals with viruses. The internal immune is kind of like a, remember the old game Pac-Man and Pac-Women or whatever? Though those lymph nodes like to eat everything you don't want in your body. They like really do the most incredible job. So you want an internal immune system that's extremely strong. How do you get a strong internal immune system? Well, your external immune system is strengthened by you exercising in vigorous ways. Whether you like to jog or run or row or play baseball or football, whatever you like to do that's very athletic, that turns on your external immune system to protect you from the outside. But your internal immune system is strengthened by two things, not by athletic activity, primarily. It's primarily affected by the diet, the food you eat, which means nutrient-dense, organic, biodynamic food, and how long you've been doing that, and natural stretching, what we call resistance flexibility. So you want to develop your internal immune system. So if you haven't done that, then start working on that. You can go to our webpage, thegeniusofflexibility.com, and learn 16 kinds of stretches in either self or assisted for your whole body. And you can get people to help you, assist you in those stretches too. And that can be that part. And then start learning a lot about and enjoying eating amazingly great food. When a virus gets past your external immune system and it goes into your body, Viruses are very clever little things and they attack very specific parts of your body, sometimes a specific muscle group, sometimes a particular organ system. Lyme's disease attacks, <clears throat> quote unquote, your pancreas. That's how that works. Well, your pancreas is the part of your body that produces enzymes to digest your food. So when you eat food, what happens is that the food goes down into your belly, it comes out of your stomach, it goes into your small intestine, and then your pancreas and spleen release enzymes to digest the food. So your food is kind of like the wood in a fireplace, and the oxygen comes in, you need that, and then you need a match. And that match are the enzymes that come from your pancreas. So if the virus attacks your pancreas, it starts to dampen the ability of the pancreas to do that. And when that happens, you don't get the match. So now you don't get, even though you're eating good food, you're not getting the digestive fire that needs to happen. There are other things that are associated with the pancreas. The pancreas is also associated with the ability to concentrate and your energy levels. So when you have a healthy pancreas because you've eaten great food and really had a fun time doing things and enjoying your life, then what happens is that your pancreas actually keeps track of you so that you have a lot of good energy and a very even energy source. Otherwise, if the pancreas is negatively affected, you start crashing. So then your energy levels go, go up and down. They're not supposed to do that. And then unfortunately, if the pancreas is affected too negatively, you start stealing energy from your kidneys, which is like your savings account. And then after a while, you're depleting your savings account. Uh, it also is a different kind of energy. It's too peaky. 
it's that energy is only supposed to be used really for dramatic, stressful situations that you're in. So here your pancreas gets negatively affected by that virus. And if the virus goes deeper than that, then it starts affecting your bladder, your heart, and your brain or your central nervous system. We're in trouble now when it goes deeper into the body. Now, there are traditional ways of dealing with Lyme's disease. I don't think they work. If they do, I've never seen it. I've seen a lot of people with Lyme's disease. I think your body is equipped to deal with it. So let's, let's use you, your body. You know, the body is medicine. And let's, let's use your body to affect that Lyme's disease. So the way you do that is that you do, you're going to stretch muscle groups. They go over the top of back of your neck into your neck, to the nape of your shoulders, out the back of your shoulders, down the back of your arms into your ring finger, and stretch out those muscles naturally. That's stretch number 16 in my book and on the webpage. And then go after stretches for your pancreas. And then go after stretches for your stomach. And then if it's gone farther in you, then go after your bladder, your heart, and your central nervous system and get other people to help and stretch those for you. So you can start to re reverse this entire thing. There's a weird thing about viruses. They're not very smart. People think they're very smart. They're not like that. They overpopulate and kill themselves. That's how viruses deal with things. So when you get a normal flu, what happens is that you get a virus, the virus comes into your body, usually affects uh, in your belly region of your body. And then what happens is it reaches critical mass in its population, and then they start dying off. So it lasts for about 24 hours. Other flus can last longer and be more disruptive. Lyme's is one of those. There are debates about whether Lyme's disease was created in a lab or altered or all that matters, but all that really matters is that your body is the medicine you can use to heal yourself and let other people help you do that. So. I highly recommend that if you've had a poor diet before and haven't been good at stretching or because it doesn't really work unless you resist. So you probably never did it before. It doesn't really work. But now that you know how it works and you now know that you can eat better food and that turns on your internal immune system. So you're eating food, not just to feed you, but to build your immune system. That's good to know. Then start doing it now because if you have a, of a history of a poor diet, and not stretching, your internal immune is not so strong. And that's supposed to be the most incredible system in your body. So you really want to prioritize that. That is your health, right? Who cares if you have everything else if you don't have your health? Let's, let's get the health. So don't worry about the Lyme's disease. I get it's terrible. It's incredibly destructive to people. There's a huge number of people that have that. Now let's do something about it. Go after those stretches, get people to help you make, bring up your health and let's come through that. Then you get the high side of that disease instead of the low size. You get to have a better life. You get to have more fun. You get to concentrate better, become a better writer. There's a lot of benefits you get out of fixing something when it's broken. Let's go that way with it. Have a good time.